Hi, my name is Evan Budd. I am in Chemistry 110 and Section 4, Lab 4. And this is my video report for the determination of citric acid concentration in lemon juice. So first we need to write, all, write down the balanced equation of this. So as page 40, in page 41 of our student chemistry book, handout, oh, geez, repeats. Um, we get the um, equation C3H5O COOH3, which is aqueous, and this is our citric, citric acid. We get this plus 3 NaOH, which is also aqueous, and this is our sodium hydroxide. We get these two products, or these two reactants to form Na3. C three H five O C O O three, which is aqueous, and this is our sodium citrate, and then we also have plus three H two O, which is liquid. We all know that H two O is just water. So there is our balanced equation. <coughs> For our first part, the second part, we need to show an example of one of the three exact titrations. So the first example is on page 46. Try on page 46, we will use our trial one. We will use our uh, trial one because. It, and not the rough so first we have to convert the um we start off with the volume of NaOH used which is 19.60 so right here we will put 19.60 milliliters of NaOH and we want to convert those milliliters to liters so we'll do the conversion of one liter over 1000 milliliters which equals 0 0.0196 liters so since we converted that in our chem lab at the beginning our instructor Dr. Jean told us that the molarity of standard NaOH solution is 0 0.0813 molarity so what we will do is <coughs> Excuse me. What we will do is set this up so it's 0 0.0196 liters of NaOH multiplied by 0 0.0813 molarity of moles of NaOH over 1 liter multiplied by by one mole of our citric acid so C3H5O COOH3 over the three moles of our sodium hydroxide so we do that real quick that is 0 0.0196 multiplied by 0 0.0813 divided by 1 multiplied by 1 divided by 3 and we get <coughs> um <coughs> and after that we get we get an answer of 5.3116 times 10 to the negative 4 power um moles of citric acid So we'll get 5.3116 times 10 to the negative 4 moles of citric acid. <clears throat> and to by doing that, we got that by doing the mole-to-mole -mole ratio. So now 
we want to find the molarity of the citric acid. So to find molarity, it's molarity equals the number of moles over the volume, which is always wanted to be in liters. So here we will have M equals the five points. Since we got the 5.3116 times 10 to the negative four moles of citric acid. We want to divide that by right here. We have in trial one 2.00 milliliters. So 2.00 milliliters divided by multiplied by 1 divided by 1000 will give us 0 0.002 liters. So we do that real quick. We get 5.3116 times 10 to the power of negative 4 divided by 0 0.002. We get the molarity to equal. So molarity equals equals 0 0.2656 molarity of citric acid and we already did the um we were, I already did the other two off camera so for trial 2 trial 1 first equals molarity of 0 0.2656 for trial 2 we got a molarity of <coughs> 0 0.2602 in trial 3 we got a molarity of <coughs> 0.2629 so that's for problem two um for three for number four we want to show the calculations of the average citric concentration from the three so to find the average of the molarity we'll go 0.0, .0 0 0.2656 plus 0 0.2602 plus 0 0.2629 which the average we'll get that to be 0 point oh seven zero point seven eight eight seven and to find the average, we want to multiply the zero or divide 0 0.7887 by 3, which will give us our answer of 0 0.2629 average molarity. So that is our average molarity. Um now for problem five it asks us to compare um number five it asks asks us to compare the average ph for lemon juice um according to math.info um the website math.info right there we have the equation for ph equaling pH equals pH equals negative log to the H plus <coughs> okay so for that we'll now look at table 2 Trials one through three um before the nitration, so before titration, my bad. Before titration we had for trials one through three we had 
an average of 2.58 2.58 now without that including the rough our um, pH is 2.58 and based on our chem lectures we know that 1 through 7 on the pH scale equals an acid and 7 through 14 equals a base so with before we got 2.58 and that's between 1 and 7 so we know that this the 2.58 is an acid but now after titration after titration we um for table 3 trials 1 through 3 1 through 3 we had an average of 9.41 pH and with this 9.41 being between 7 and 14 this would be considered a base we also know that any um, equation or formula ending in an OH like for example NaOH that we used these will this tells you that it's going to be a base on the pH scale <clears throat> now it changed from an acid to a base because um with the NaOH the sodium hydroxide being added it changed the acid into the base which we would have got 9.41 so for my citations I use the um, lab manual from chemistry 110 N foundations of chemistry laboratory manual and I also use the math info dot ph or math info dot com for my um, ph equation